you know, you can have sex during quarantine. It's got to be done a certain way, that's all. I'm one of the very few performers who can actually... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got it. I'm one of the few performers who can actually take six feet away and still make contact. Get it? Let's see close up. Oh, God, that's close up. All right, so I, since you can't choose a postcard, I'm going to choose one for you here. I want you to. If you had one opportunity to use a time machine, where would you go? Probably right where I'm at right now. I, I like my life right now, so probably be now, except quarantine. But now, let's see. Uh, to choose a different time other than my own, maybe probably the Revolutionary War, because I look a little bit like uh, Ben Franklin. And when we did plays in high school and college, I played Benjamin Franklin. And he was a ladies' man, real, you know, man about town. She's brilliant in his scientific discoveries. What is a hidden talent that most people don't know you have? Violin, good harmonica, and good piano. I'm on the piano in the Kid Rock album. I want to be a cowboy, babe. Remember that one? Yeah, of course. I want to be a cowboy. Look at the album. I'm playing the piano in it. Some rock stars like C.C. DeVille and others say I'm one of the better musicians in Los Angeles. I get a lot of good props from other, other rockers you know, and rappers. I had a hit rap song called Freak of the Week with DJ Polo, Ice-T, Sir Mix-a-Lot, and a bunch of others are in it. And it's a music video that did really well. You know, Axel said so too. You know, they're really good musicians. <laughs> Right now, like everybody else, you are stuck in quarantine, but you have a very particular issue that you're dealing with right now. Talk to me about what's going on with your tree. It's really cute. I mean, it's really sweet. I was born 1953, March. My dad planted a tree um, in my house at my age as well. The house, the tree, and myself are all the same exact age, born March 12, 1953. And then me and the tree would hug each other a lot. Or I'd go up on the branches and play with it. You know, in a nice hot summer night, I'd play with my tree. And that tree outlasted two hurricanes, one small tornado, lots of graffiti, and is the most attractive tree by far in that whole vicinity of Bayside, you know? This tree has survived carpenter ants, survive just basically everything you know now they say it's hollow and they're not sure if it could be saved and I, and I said please try to save it I'll, I'll pay whatever necessary I'm not making a plea for money I'm making a plea that people could then you know let this tree live you know I'm now living in California the tree is in you know, Bayside Queens and it just means a lot you know you can take the branches that are bad take them away take them off and that's it but let the bulk of the tree stay. It's very difficult because I used to always hug the tree. That was like my thing, is to hug it. And basically we are the custodian of the planet. And we have to take care of animals, bugs, anything that's on this planet and living, we have to take care of. If it hadn't been for the pandemic, or what's going on now with, with these uh, illnesses, I'd have been on the next plane when I heard about it. My surgeon. I had a surgery a while back. He said that it's it's a little bit, we're not endorsing people to fly quite yet. I don't know, it's, it's very, very sad. They're getting enough phone calls that they may realize that maybe they don't have to kill the tree, just take the branches off that need to be taken off. Their fear was that if I go through all that work, the tree might die anyway, you know? And, and I said, do it, I'll cover it, you know? So, you know, in Jewish tradition, uh, when a baby uh, has a bris, the moil cuts off the foreskin and often the parents bury the foreskin uh, with a brand new tree. Did that happen with your tree? Is there a chance that your foreskin is with the tree? That's Jewish tradition. I never knew that. Is that Hasidic uh, or conservative or reformed? I've never heard that. No, it's it's just sort of a tradition. I don't think it's very widely done, but the tradition is that the parents would take the foreskin and bury it with a brand new tree. Wow. You know, I'd, I'd be the guy going, hey, 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 hey. 
hey, hey, wait a second. Wait. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> well, it's alive. The, the, the tree is definitely alive. You know, and this might sound a little corny, but I had an aorta dissection. I was getting the operation done, and a lot of and, uh, a lot of people on the block, a lot of very spiritual people were there. They saw, and they really thought they saw, at the top of the of the uh, of the tree, tilting towards the west coast, tilting west, and like its way of saying, you know, good luck. I guess the only thing I could ask is people to call up, you know, um, powers that be, you know, if they could call up the parks department, and I think it's three one one. I don't want to be an idiot or be unfair or be give a hard time to men just trying to do their job. You know, but anyway, it's, it's very special.